Hey there, how's it going? Really great to see you. Now, if you're an ATM Mini user or you're looking at getting an ATM Mini, you might be interested in this trick that I've found out. The Blackmagic ATM Mini has a built-in FTP server. That's right, it's not in the manual, and I came across it accidentally the other day while doing something else, and I realized that I can copy files from the ATM Mini directly to my computer without having to take the hard drive out. Now, like many of us, I record my videos every day directly to hard drive through the ATEM Mini, so I've got my various cameras set up here and I've got my audio feed coming in and everything. It all goes into the ATEM Mini and records in the ISO tracks. I've got the same thing happening in a couple of different ATEMs I've got around my studio. Now, I've always taken the hard drive off, moved it to my editing computer, then ingested the files and edit from there. But now that I know about this FTP server, I can just copy the files directly from the hard drive from the ATEM over my network without having to plug and unplug them all the time. And that's fantastic for workflow. Now let's have a look and see how this works. The first thing you need to know is what your IP address is for your ATEM Mini. To do that, you need to come into the ATEM software control menu here, click on connection, and you'll see it typed here this is the one you set up when you added the ATM mini to a network when you first got it if it's a DHCP address this might change all the time I do strongly recommend using a static or a dedicated IP for your ATM minis now just write that one down as you can see mine is 192.168.1.46 yours will be different to that your network will be slightly different to mine as well but you'll need to know that number once you've got that, you need to open up your FTP client. Now you can find a lot of FTP client software on the internet. If you're on Mac, just go to the App Store and type FTP client. And if you're on Windows, have a look around, you'll find several similar things as well. The one I like to use is Captain FTP. It's um, a pay for application, but it's really good and it stays up to date and works really, really well. To use this, you just click on the connect tool up the top here and type the IP address in as the host name. It doesn't need a username or password because it's a guest account that it uses, an anonymous account. Click on OK, and then the FTP software will connect to your ATM Mini. It'll show you your hard drive's name in there. In this case, mine's a Nitro SSD that I've got plugged in. Now I'll double click on the folder there. It will open up the different recording projects that the ATM's created. Mine's this last one at the moment, and you can see that I've got my files in there. There's the video ISO files if you're using an ATM with ISO. And you can see each of the individual cameras here. Now you can just copy this directly to your machine. Because I'm on Mac, I can just directly drag a file like this from Captain FTP to a finder window and it will download straight away. Now that my file is downloaded, I can just ingest that into my edit software or anything else I want to work on it with straight away and create my video edit from there, all without having to plug or unplug any hard drives anywhere around the place. This is particularly good if you're in a multi-person environment where you're recording videos one after the other and you've got somebody else doing the edit. You can just stop and start the records on your ATEMs or you might have multiple ATEMs and you can access all of them from your edit machine and ingest all those files without having to move hardware around. One thing to keep in mind is that your machine does need to be connected to a local network and on the same network as your edit machines or the machine that you want to copy the files onto. Normally that's not a problem because you should have connected your ATEM up to the network when you first set it up. Some people just use it on a USB connection. You'll need to add it to a network to be able to use this. At the moment, the only practical applications for this are to copy the files to a machine for editing or maybe to a network storage location to keep a backup off the ATEM. What I would love to see in the future is Blackmagic allowing us to upload a video file to the hard drive and be able to play that back through one of the media players. Imagine having hyperdeck type functionality built into the ATEM Mini and be able to set one of those media files, one of those video files up as another video source on the ATEM. Now we know this is possible because other devices like the YOLO box from YOLO Live are able to do this straight away on a much simpler device. 
a much more complex and powerful device like the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO should be able to play those video files back and assign them to say a DVE or assign them as a video source. Now if you've got any questions about this or you know of any other really cool ATEM tricks please put them in the comments below. I do read all of those and I'm really excited to hear all of your feedback all the time. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please consider clicking down here and subscribing. And don't forget to watch this video and this video as well, because they also contain really good information that's going to help you out. And I will see you in another video real soon. Have a great day.